Good morning, folks. It's a great day here at Mountain Man Armory. Ignore the blank walls. We don't have everything out yet. This is a little pre-opening uh, show and tell on some cool stuff that we got in. A uh, little product highlights, if you will. So we're going to start things off with something that came in on consignment. Pretty neat. Here we have a 1946 uh, Mosin Nagant. This is a Russian rifle. It is the short M44 configuration, and it does have the side-folding bayonet or pokey bit, if you're like me and have the mind of a three-year-old. But this is definitely a beautiful rifle. We've seen a lot more interest in Mosins and SKSs here in uh, the last few months and couple years, whatever. Uh, this is a really cool one. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we have this one here uh, if you want to come snag it. Next up, this one just came in. This is a Zastava, Zastava. Um, absolutely gorgeous AK. It does have the side folding uh, stock. So there is that. Uh, these are going to be a little bit trickier to get your hands on. This one is a Serbian made one. Um, so with all the import bands and things like that going on, um, these aren't super common. But this one's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some people are going to love the red. Some people are going to hate it. I think it looks pretty good. Well built rifle. We also got in a couple of guns that are just plain fun. This is a Heritage Rough Rider. This is the four and three quarter inch barrel, I believe. Uh, 22 long rifle. These are a lot of fun. If you haven't played with one of these, you really should. Uh, they're just an amazing amount of fun can be had with these. They're great for getting newer shooters started on a handgun, you know, six round capacity. You got to cock the hammer each time, slows them down a little bit. Uh, 22 is still not terribly expensive to shoot. So there is that. We also have the Ruger Wrangler. Now this one is in a burnt bronze uh, Cerakote, absolutely gorgeous. Also a single action revolver, a very similar manual of arms. These are really cool guns. There's gonna be a link down in the description uh, where I do a comparison video on the Rough Rider versus the Wrangler. We also got in a Canic or Chanic or however you pronounce it, uh, TP9SA Mod 2. So this one is cool. It does come with some more insights on it. And it has a decocker built in there, which is nice. Uh, so you, you have a substantial amount of capacity here, 18 plus one, you've got a rail for your lights. These are very good pistols, some of the best striker fired triggers out of the box that we've come across. Uh, very cool. There will be links as usual down in the description if you want to check out some reviews on these. We also got in this Ruger American Predator here in this nice OD green. This one's chambered in 6.5 Grindle. Uh, very cool gun. Takes a nice detachable magazine there. Bolt action. You do have a threaded barrel. Very cool. Um, we're big fans of the Ruger Americans here. I have several personally, so I'll link to some um, reviews down in the description. They're not going to be this caliber, uh, but they're pretty cool. So we have one of these in. We also got in this Rossi lever action uh, 22. So that's pretty cool. It is tube fed here. Uh, you've got some fiber optics red up front, green in the rear. Got a nice handguard on here. Definitely looks like it's got some M-lock slots on there. Very cool rifle. Um, pretty smooth action on it as well. So this would absolutely make a good squirrel gun, plinker, uh, whatever. I think this would be a lot of fun right here. We are also able to get in uh, these Veska AK-47s. These are pretty neat. They do come with polymer mag. Um, they feel very well constructed. Handguard's very comfortable up front. Very comfortable grip here. Uh, these would absolutely make a good addition to your collection. Pretty interesting muzzle brake configuration there. Uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Got another Ruger American here. This one's chambered in 7mm odd 8. Uh, this would make an excellent deer rifle. This is the compact version, so you have a little bit shorter barrel, a little bit handier for traipsing around in the woods and underbrush. This one probably needs no introduction. It probably won't last too long, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it up here anyway. This is the Keltec Sub 2000. Uh, uses Glock magazines. Very cool engineering. This one is a 9mm one. Uh, one of the neatest things about it, though, is that it does that. So you have a very uh, portable package here that could potentially use the same magazines as your carry gun. So if you are on the Glock bandwagon, um, it's very easy to come across magazines for it. If you may already have several magazines and there you go, you're ready to rock. So very cool offering from kel -Tec. Everybody loves shotguns and this wouldn't be a proper highlights video without mentioning a couple of the cooler ones that we got in. This is a Black Aces Tactical uh, Pro Series X pump action. So you get a lot with this. You have a section here of uh, rail to mount a light on. You've got rail up here to throw a red dot on. And the case comes with a variety of accessories. You can change the stock out, magazine extension tubes, different chokes. Uh, this is a truly feature loaded kit. 
Uh, these are pretty neat shotguns for sure. If you're a bit more distinguished sportsman, we have a TriStar NKC 20 gauge uh, over and under. Over and unders, uh, double barrels, things like this are just fun. There's a lot of history there. Uh, so we do have one of these as well. I couldn't let it go without mentioning the VR80. Uh, these are cool shotguns. Yes, this is a shotgun. Uh, detachable magazine, kind of an AR-15 style shotgun. You have your charging handle over here. These are cool. They're uh, by Rock Island Armory. You've got rail space for days, sling mounts, a very comfortable stock, uh, backup irons. You could very easily throw a red dot on this and have a pretty awesome home defense or just clay annihilator shotgun. It does come with some uh, additional chokes. Very cool, rated for three inch. We have one in FDE and one in black. We did get in a Diamondback DB10 pistol. So yes, this is a pistol, barrel shorter than uh, 16 inches. You do have 308 on board. So this is an absolute hoss of a gun. What a freaking unit this is. So you do have your brace back here. It is adjustable, classical, whatever. Um, very cool gizmo all the way around. You can use that, have it on your forearm, have a good time. So very cool gun here. Kind of rare to find AR-10s right now, so this one probably won't last long. So I already showed you the regular Heritage. Uh, they make these in a few different barrel lengths and configurations. So this is pretty neat. Uh, this is kind of the standard. They have a longer one, which is what my personal one is. But they also have these little guys. So these are the barkeep models. These have a shorter barrel. They're designed to be like replicas of the old barkeep pistols that you keep behind a bar uh, back in the old days, I guess. But they're very cool. We have this one with a gray pearl handle and uh, black scheme going on. We also have this uh, American flag and kind of bronze slash case hardened look uh, going on here. So very cool little pistols. These would be a lot of fun. They are both in 22 long rifle. These look like they would be a lot of fun. So very cool. If you like the Glock 43 but wish the grip was a little bit more full size, the 43BX may be uh, the gun for you. So we got a few of these in. A 10 round magazine capacity. There are some 15 round mags from Shield Arms available. Very cool gun, would make an excellent concealed carry pistol. We have had a few uh, SIG P365s in. Um, this one though is a little bit different. This is a limited edition. Um, it does have the Coyote frame on it, which is a very cool look. The two-tone look, I think, sets this apart. Comes with two 12-round mags and one 15-round mag. That's right, 12 rounds in that little guy. Uh, very cool pistols. I have one of these. I swear by it. There'll be links to all relevant videos in the description. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this highlight video. I know it threw a lot at you. We just got a really big shipment in, uh, so I wanted to put that out. We did restock on some ammo as well. So there is that uh, nine millimeter, some 45 defensive loads, things like that. Um, if you want to stay up to date though, on a almost daily basis, go follow our Facebook page, Mountain Man Armory. Um, there'll be pictures and things like that. And that's where we post when we get ammo drops and the like. So that's always cool. I think that's going to wrap it up guys. Remember to train as often as you can. Even if that's dry fire training, we do still have the full line of Mantis training accessories here. Uh, if you want to take your dry fire training to the next level. All right guys, I'll see you around.